like this music. Hey, fella. Huh? Stop following me, please. <laughs> okay. Another pooch. Oh, I was going to say, how do I get in there? But it's a different door. Oh, my. What happened here, sir? Were you robbed? Doesn't look like it. Hmm? Oh, ho, ho, nothing like that. It's a little untidy, though. Hmm? It's saying like I suffer for a little from imposter syndrome. Ah, fellow artist. Pleasure to meet you, young man. I'm Milo, humble confectioner. I think I m met him earlier when he was talking about how good it's for him that Papa Baker was in jail. And I feel your pain. I've been trying to perfect a bonbon recipe for months. Just can't quite get it right. They look delicious, sir. Oh, ho, thank you. Please help yourself. Wow. These are incredible. Mr. Milo, if you sent these out to the people, you'll have queues stretching out all the way to Uptown. Even Papa Baker would be impressed if we gave him one. Do you really? Wait. You know Papa Baker? Uh, yeah. We're his friends and love here is his son. What? Really? Oh, my Papa Baker is my idol. I must be a different guy. Who said that? His creations are divine. I was overjoyed when he was absolutely absolved of that awful crime. Say, do you know what he's doing right now? He's uh, back baking in his old bakery. Oh, is that right? That's that's excellent news. Uh, you don't sound so sure. No, it's just Papa Baker's cakes and pastries are so delicious. How can I hope to make anything as good as he does? I like competition as much as anyone, sir, but I'm learning that it's not good to compare yourself to others. Besides, you make different stuff, right? And if you don't get your confectionery out there, nobody will know what you can do. Yes, you're right, young man. But I have no way of distributing my sweets. Could you youngins spare the time to help me out? Sweet idea. Oh, I'm glad you think so. Perhaps you could take some of my samples on my confectionery to some of the folks in Midtown near the Central Plaza. Three potential customers would be, er, would be a good start. And we could take one to Papa Baker, too. Uh, are you sure? But oh, what if it's not good enough? Don't worry, Mr. Milo. I'm sure I love it. Minding my own business. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the store? I can buy stuff here. Wait, this is McCook's. Or Angel. Oh, it's part of McCook's place. Hi there. What kind of McCook's merch? Now doing business in Royal Town. At least I can buy these beaver tails here. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, is that the, uh, that's the elder. <laughs> Look at that. That's kind of cool. Nice weather we're having. Quite warm. Very sunny. Is that a Bug Fables poster? Oh, thank you for this. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is delicious. I need to befriend whoever made this. Is that Bug Fables? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> that is so cool. I, I definitely need to be playing Bug Fables on this channel. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. It's such a great game. An advertisement for a place starring bugs in the leading roles. You can already tell a lot of passion went into its creation. Hell yeah. That is so cool. This is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> That's such a good pose of like Leaf being the tall linky magician, uh, <laughs> Kabu being super strong and buff, and then V just being. <laughs> she would hate this depiction of her, actually. Oh, does she do a fortune teller thing? A, pr a promotional poster featuring the hero Luna. It reads, What are the stars saying about you? Spiritual guidance sessions on Thursday, starting to be 200 clovers. Is this Lance? Her. Oh, a sweet sample for me? Oh, oh, this is simply divine. I must simply tell my friends. Um, can I talk to him? That's interesting. Anything here? It looks like I could probably go in here. Ooh, crystals. What's the matter, miss? <laughs> I've been the victim of a terrible crime. My most prized ring has been stolen. Oh, no, that's terrible. Have you reported it? 
I did, but the guards don't seem interested. It doesn't help that they assigned me the laziest one of the bunch, Gladwin. Of all those wealthy women looking for unwieldy jewelry who've come to me, me, I failed them. Okay, calm down, lady. Jeez, and I thought Lento was melodramatic. We can speak to this Gladwin guy and see what's up, right, Loaf? We'll run rings around him. Thank you, but please hold off the puns too soon. We'll probably be lounging around nearby. Yes, a big, silly purple beard. Gotcha. He's up here, actually. Nope. Is this guy new? Oh, thought I could jump off. Where's Gladwin? Where's your buddy? Is this guy new? Gito. Hmm, the fashion in this town, part of town is a dreadful, are they not? Yes, I must have wandered in the wrong part of the city. This place, these people, far too shabby for one of the cultural and refined as I, Gino. Badgers and jumpers, tourists not wearing a standard regulation hat? A disgraceful. What are you wearing? Is that a hood and a sweatshirt? Awful. Simply awful. And red too? Don't you know bright colors are out and muted earth tones are in? More like putrid dirt tones. If I change my outfit, my color, will he uh, say something about it? Hmm, they say you should look at the street clothing to gain the pulse of the now, but I think that this place is rather stone dead. Okay, you didn't say anything about my clothes. What's up, Shan? So, Yagi. So, Yagi, have you given up being a warrior and decided to become a baker instead? Honestly, I applaud the career change. You gotta know your strengths. You know I can bake. I always get the measurements wrong. Well, keep trying. I'm sure you'll find something you're good at. Eventually. I heard you got a quest. Yep. I've been doing some cool stuff too. Special training. Some super secret missions. That wouldn't be humility training and community service missions. No, no, it's, uh, other stuff. Really super cool top secret stuff. Way better than your little task. Sue and I got recruited especially because we're so talented and good looking. Everyone that- everyone knows that super top secret spies have to be be beautiful as well as brilliant. Sorry, Yagi, that puts you out of the running on both counts. Um... There he is. I think this is Gladwin. Oh, no, it's Gerald. Maybe he was somewhere down there. She did say purple beard. What's up, guys? You got something cool for me? Hey, what's up? Ha, huh, sweet, free stuff. Whoa, these are radical. Gotta buy more once my training's over. Early girl. Early girl. Early girl. Can't talk to her. <laughs> the heck? Hmm. Can I talk to this guy? <laughs> oh, sorry, fella. Ugh! What is... Is that some kind of living bread? It talks? I always heard they do things differently elsewhere, but I never imagined people might be quite so peculiar. Wait, you're from here? Well, now there's a turnip. Actually, I'm bread, not a turnip. <clears throat> I'm sorry, young fellow, I haven't spoken to many animate, inanimate objects before. I'm not familiar with the protocols. I never heard the urge to leave old Roller Town. Everything I need is right here. Okay. It's Axel. Um, there you go. So it's step, duck, swing, chop, duck, step. Not step, blindly swing, miss by a mile, get angry, and start windmilling. It works, doesn't it? Your version sounds so, so boring. It only works sometimes. The rest of the time, it's step, blindly swing, miss by a mile, get hit, then lie on the floor complaining about sportsmanship. Ah, there's too many things to remember. Whack stuff now. Axel, please, we can't keep doing this. 
Sometimes I think this partnership would go much better if I could just sit on your back and tug your hair to control you. <laughs> Ratatouille style. That sounds like a great idea. Why did you suggest it earlier? Hop on. All right, at this point, I'll try anything. Hello, unknown woman. My name? Why would I ever tell you that? Away, oh, or I'll call the guards. I see, try. Oh, I see the purple car. Purple beard now. Oh no, this is just one of those llamas. Catering llama, too. Oh no, what have I done? Is something wrong? I made a big mistake. Like, really big one. I'm sure it isn't that bad. I've run my family business into the ground. Oh. What am I gonna do? Pa trusted me and now... My family cooks the best food in the whole Highlands and they start opening small shops in remote locations. My pa trusted me opening one in here in Royaltown. So far so good. On my way here, a tiny rat took an interest in my backpack. It was so cute. It looked hungry so I gave it a piece of a dumpling. I can see where this is going. Now I get why my mom and pa told me not to feed strays. That little critter followed me here and brought his whole darn family with them. Anyone sees the state of the kitchen of our family, business reputation will be in tatters. I think she's supposed to have like a country voice. Maybe like Sandy from Spongebob. I bet we could help with your pest problem. Really? You could do that for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I can't bring myself to hurt them. They're just hungry. Please be gentle with them. We got pet him. Oh my god. Is that a new fella? Oh, we're out here. <laughs> Dust rat. Uh, let's go for Cinder Spin. Make this fella slower. Oh, he attacks every time you attack him? That's an interesting mechanic. He's weak to leaf attacks. So let's go for the sickle. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I'll go for paper cut. Uh, let's go for Frostblade. There we go. I wonder if I'm going to be finding more of those guys later on. We did it. Hmm. I wonder what this area is connected to. Pretty sure quest, Lana. You did it. Aside from a few leftovers, the kitchen is clear. You didn't hurt the little critters, did you? Ah, uh, he didn't give us much of a choice. Uh... We, uh, did our best. Oh, well, I can't thank you enough. You're so strong and kind, Yagi. I don't suppose you, you've seen anyone? Ooh. Uh, me, I, uh, no, but uh, I'm uh, really busy at the moment with the uh, training and uh, saving the world. Y y you know how it is. Ah, uh, shame. Well, after you save the world, maybe we could grab a drink? And please come by anytime you want. Okay, I promise everything will be free, delicious, and poop free. Do we get anything? Oh. I guess uh, she won't get her stuff unless we uh, help her out. Oh, it's Sue. Yagi? Or, Yagi, have you seen Sh Sean? He was here just a second ago. Why? What brings you two into town anyway? Oh, us? We're uh, shopping for uh, jackets. Gotta have new jackets. You gotta change your look every six months, or what people will think. What will people think? New season, new us. You do? I never change my look. Believe me, we know. You've gone beyond last season and into the last decade. Now, speaking of it, let me just change this look now. He's green now. Well, kind of green. It's like a more lime, yellowy green. Sean and I, we always dress for success. A real winner is ready for the podium, the red carpet and catwalk at all times. You never know when there might be paparazzi around. Oh, look at that. Promotional poster of a snowboarding game featuring Snowstorm. There's a bunch of uncredited pull quotes on it. Very great game. I must play for snow lovers. This game changed my life. 
Ha, ah, I see you're looking at my fine whiskers. I assume you assume correctly. I am tremendously wealthy. A man such as I looks around the city and sees quite different from to you. Financially challenged individuals. I look around and see opportunities, redevelopment, possibilities. And this is the guy who was talking about how he wanted Papa Baker's place if he was gonna go to jail. Public squares, people feeding birds. It's all so much wasted space, wasted time, wasted potential. Give me free reign in six months you wouldn't recognize this place. Every man, woman, and child. Fully employed in energetic, life-affirming labor. Except you, huh? Carefully measured out apartments, minimum sizes for maximum usage, not a square inch of waste. Alas, the queen does not share my visions. She insists on quaintness and proponing a pastoral lifestyle through the community singing. Utterly preposterous. Well, thankfully we don't have to do that. Sounds horrible. Oh, there's the bus thing. No, it's gonna leave us. They live without us. Could have sat on the roof. Come on, if we jog quickly, maybe we can catch up. J jogging? Good cardiovascular training, little guy. Well, before I do that, I want to make sure I got everything else in town. Can I talk to this lady? Well, aren't you a young thing? So cute, I could just pinch those soft, doughy little cheeks. Oh my, S some came off. Uh, let me just... <laughs> There, you can hardly notice it. Just knead it back in. Hmm, yes, I'll make you into a plushie. Oh, I'd love a little plushie. Oh, don't be so silly. I'll make a cute doll that looks like you. Something soft and cuddly. I could probably make a little plushie. Who wanted, to want an adorable doughy little plushie to cuddle? Can I talk to a uh, early girl now? There we go. Come on, feel the burn. Hi, early girl. Hey, little heroes, you caught me during my morning jog. Always nice to run into you. Ah, likewise, little guy. What about y'all? How much cardio do you do? A lot more since t tagging along with low. Feels like a m m marathon sometimes. Fellow long distance runners, huh? Let's see how fit you are. How about it? Another race? W what do you, you mean, ways? To where? All the way to Humble Heights in the Holy Highlands. To give you a chance, you gotta beat my backwards running time. Uh-oh. I don't know the rules. Nah, I know what to do. Alright. Just get to Humble Heights for my best time to win. Well, since we got that boost, it's gonna be a little bit easier. I think it's funny how Loaf or Dub was okay with the cardio in this dialogue, but earlier he said he was worried about shogging. Ooh, it's an apple guy. See, that seems an appropriate amount of time to get all the way to the, the mountains. Let's have Lint. I don't have him out as much as I usually do. This last chapter is more like the Yagi. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> I'll just run away from this. Wait, is there battle music? I never really noticed. That's cool. I think there's a battle that's a battle music version. Or maybe it's the same. Never mind. Um, oh, I can't take the shortcut. Oh, dang. Hoping I could do it with Yagi, but oh well. Oh. Oh, dang it. It's bad thing after bad thing. At least it wasn't a first strike. You can just keep fleeing. Oh, I do have a new special move. I'll, I'll check it out after we do this uh, race.
Oh, you do lose money if you fall. Or if you flee from... I didn't know that. Nope. Maybe I'll beat this guy? about wasting too much time in this fight. Maybe I should have just switched to a uh, lint here. Okay, hurry up, hurry up. Would have been bad to get a level up there. About a minute left. It's gonna be a little close. Gonna watch out for the, the cowbeer here. Well, we're getting close here. Gonna be the end of it. <gasps> no, are you serious? That's tough. Oh, just made it, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> that was so close. Oh, it's less than a second. <laughs> oh. Boy, I'm Bubby. Great workout, little guys. Let's close to get the legs burning, huh? Here's your prize. Hell yeah. Repeatedly tap the button to make little sprint. Okay. Do I already have it equipped? I know I actually have to equip this. How fast is that going to make me go? Is that faster? Can't really tell. Hmm. Can't really tell. It actually does seem pretty fast. Oh yeah, because that's my regular running speed, so yeah. That's yeah, pretty fast. Although tapping it a bunch is kind of annoying. Oh well, still pretty cool though. Uh, I think I'm going to save these for... Oops. <laughs> uh, I think I'll save this for... When I get the new partner. I'm pretty sure that's what's coming up. Oh man, I, the next race is going to be hard <laughs> if I have this now. Oh dang, you can just run past that. I wonder if you can... Oh, I guess you could run past it normally. Okay, there's this guy. <laughs> this old apple fella. They say this place is the pick of the bunch. I'm not putting much stock in that. As far as I can see it, it's just a grubby little one bushel town. I don't see the appeal. Oh, I thought there was going to be more dialogue with him. Oh, I got to remember to give the, uh, the confectionery to Papa Baker. See what he thinks of it. Loaf, my boy. Great to see you as always. What brings you home? Not that you need a visit to visit your pa. Hello again, Mr. Papa. <laughs> Mr. Papa. I guess Papa is his first name, huh? <laughs> we actually have something for you this time. A confectioner named called Milo is a huge fan of yours. He asked if you try a bonbon he made. Huge fan, you say? Hmm. I've heard of this Milo fellow. I'd be delighted to try a sample. Hmm. Rich velvety chocolate, crisp almonds, and oh, that fondant is sublime. My old Barnabas's whisk. This is delicious. Outstanding flavor. Please pass on my compliments to Milo. Oh, and I've just tried out a new recipe. Could you give him this cake? This cake to him, please? 
so that he knows how much I admire his creations. Golden cake. Ooh. Come back to visit in time. You're always welcome here. I wonder if that's going to be our reward. Yo, Milo. People love your stuff. You did it. The folks have been coming in all morning and I can't sell my sweets quick enough. But I have to ask, what did Papa Baker think? Did he like the sample? No, I'm afraid he didn't like it, Mr. Milo. <laughs> Lint, you, that's messed up. Don't do this kind of joke to him. He loved it. He said it was the most delicious bonbon he'd ever tasted. Actually, when we told him you were a fan, he gave us a special cake to give you. For me? Oh, I don't know what to say. This will be exquisite, I'm sure. I might just gobble it up right here. Actually, I have a better idea. You did me a huge favor, and I have little to repay you with. You should keep the cake. Are you sure, Mr. Milo? Thank you. That's so kind. I'll keep the cake, I guess. See, is there anything else I'm missing? I guess I didn't talk to these guys. So wonderfully loud and chaotic here. Feels good to get away from the peace of serenity once in a while. I know just what you mean. After all, much cultivating the inner harmony, a little bustle and hubbub is relaxing. We always come here to visit Royal Town when we're done with the tournament for the year. It's about as far as the Twinkle Lamasary as we can be. My husband works so hard up on his students' training, he deserves a break. And we always know, we always have your near wins to celebrate, darling. <laughs> Long may we almost but not quite come out on top. I love to watch other people rush around trying to get things done, especially when I don't have to help. <laughs> He's taking his nap. Are you Gladwin? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> He was right in front of the thing. Oh, who, who goes there? The wake up police. Yeah, yeah. They don't exist. I looked it up. Uh, what do you want, kids? I'm on duty, eh? You were, you were napping. I prefer to call it strategic introspection. Well, while you were strategically introspecting, the owner of Joanna's Jumbo Jewels had one of her rings stolen. Oh, that. I'm pretty sure I was stolen by that gray fox. I've foxed you, huh? Look, kid, nobody catches the gray fox. Case closed, basically. The ring's good as gone, however humongous it is. You've given up already? <laughs> I gave him the wrong voice. You've given up already? How awesome would it be to find one of gray fox's stash? Eh, not in my area. I'm a guard, not a detective. Feel free to look around your shop, but you're wasting your time if you want my opinion. Oh, what does this take me? Here stands the historical dragon tower. Oh, I wonder Dub's gonna like this. Please feel free to visit the exhibition inside. Or maybe this is where that telescope goes. Due to unjustified complaints, the dragon tower's iconic perilous stairway has been replaced by a standard elevator. Workers may use the temporary lift while innovations are underway. Thank you for being patient. Oh, what's up, fella? Oh, Oregon, my fellow cousin Badger. Go to our old town, they said. There'll be work for you, they said. This... This is a... Disaster. Excuse me, sir. I can help, but over here, you're, um, uh, angry mumblings? Is something wrong? Ugh, <sighs> noisy bunch of kids, aren't you? Oh, well, sorry for bothering you. We'll be on our way. No, wait. Sorry. Not in a good mood. You see, I was all set to work in the Badger Mines with my pals, but my dad persuaded me to get a job in the royal town. Don't waste your life in the down in the mines like I did, he said. When a parent says that to you, it really puts your fur on it, you know what I mean? Uh, well, I sort of write stuff, so yeah? Oh, dang. You must have got a bad kid. So anyway, I was offered this job as a builder. Told my first gig is to renovate the Dragon Tower on my own. I took the elevator to see what needs doing, but now this thing's broken. I can repair it, but I left my tool at the top of the tower. Oh no, that's not good. Is there any way up the tower without the elevator? There is. But I ain't been trying it. You have to climb up the and scaffold, and I can't stand heights. You should face your fears, man. That's the only way to master them. Look, buddy, I get you. Get you and your furry friend here. Don't mind heights, but I'm a fucking badger. You ever seen a badger up a tree? I think I actually saw a badger today when I was driving at work. It's another badger or skunk. 
Actually, I thought badges could climb pretty well. Good. <sighs> well, this one can't, okay? Listen, kids, you're such good climbers. Why don't you help me out and get my toolbox? I can repair the elevator, and I give you a jo I give you my joining bonus as a thanks. How does that sound? Cool. Ha ha! See what you did there? Thanks, kids. Or, see what you did there. I did a pun? I didn't notice. Appreciate it. My tool bags should be to the right at the top of the f***ing tower. Should hope my new boss doesn't turn up. Experts believe this strange contraption was used as dragons as part of the intricate mating rituals. It's just a can of tomato sauce. That's a soup can. Ancient relics from the lost kingdom of dragons. It eludes our experts. Looks like some sort of razor? A slingshot? Potato peeler, huh? Hello. Nope. These ancient stone dazes? I never heard that before. Can be found in various locations throughout the kingdom. According to legends, the goddess gifted these people to her. These platforms to her people to unite them. Scholars still debate their true origins, but all agree they're made of plain rock and aren't magic whatsoever. I'm surprised Dub hasn't. Oh, this thing. Thing we saw at the, lo at the Llama Village. What? <laughs> this is cool. This also is very beautiful. Is this a fast travel thing? What? <laughs> I... This is interesting. So I guess that'll just take me back. Bird. Oh, what if this is Chester? Oh, oh can't go down there. <laughs> okay. It's a lady. Oh, hmm. I was gonna say I have these partners, but no. Oh, so these are locations. This will take you to Lapwing Village. This takes you, oh, cause this is the queen, isn't it? Ah. Well, yeah, the llama village. Don't know what that is. Maybe that's the next place? And then the bird. Oh, maybe we'll see Chester in the sea. That'd be kind of cool. Do we get up there at all? Oh, we do. Oh, the music here is really cool, too. Blessing of the Resolve. Allows Loaf to boost his special attacks and make them more effective. Go to the boons page. Oh, cool. Hell yeah, I'll definitely do that. Oh, it's just equipped. Okay. Oh, so these are like blessings. Okay. So I'll get these blessings later on too. Assuming one... That middle one was for special stuff. Are these salamander spirits or just the same sprite they're using for salamander spirits? So I'm guessing this is offensive... The middle is for special stuff, and then the right is for defensive stuff. That's cool. Let's go to the Llama Village real quick. Man, there's a lot here before <laughs> than I was expecting. Hey, you're back here. Mm, I guess I'm not really seeing anything new. Hey, you ditched us, man. I guess there's nothing new going on in the village. Okay, well, thankfully heading back isn't too bad. Actually, um... What is my clover count? We can go buy... A new card. Because we have 400 now. I'm here to buy this Skittle. Heck yeah, let's see what it looks like. Oh, look at that. He's like a steampunk character. Is that what he looks like normally? You know, you know what? I've never seen him without a hat, so maybe he has that haircut. <laughs> Being a saver requires unflappable poise, irrepressible courage, and long experience. And Dub Drago has none of those. <laughs> what does he have is an optimistic perseverance and an unshakable love of technology. He's here to help even when the Wi-Fi is patchy, and those safe spots are feeling pretty far apart. It's kind of cool. We'll be back for that Yagi one. When I have the cash. Dub, why don't you tell me you got that crazy hairstyle underneath that hat? 
Well, their their cards don't really show what they normally look like because I think Lynx was a little different too. I don't remember the teleport path for Lapwing Village. Where is that located at? Oh, in the middle of town. That makes sense. I think what I'm gonna do is um, I think I'm gonna save it here. It's almost three hours. I'm gonna cut it there. Three hours is kind of my like limit. I don't want to get too big on file size. Uh, I think we'll help this fella out first. Got to have Yagi there. Ah, that's probably what I need to do. Whoa. I can see why he doesn't want to go up that scaffolding. It's kind of uh, rickety there. Oh, I got to use Yagi here. Oh, oh man. I wonder if you can push Yogi when he's in this pose. No, not really. He's kind of stuck where he is. Oh, dang it. Oh, no. I was hoping I'd fall off. That way I didn't have to... Hmm. Maybe I can keep Yogi here. Hopefully this is going <laughs> to take more time than I'm thinking it's going to. Because if I can stand there, I don't need to use Yagi there. And I can keep him pressed for whatever's up here. Oh, there's his tool bag. I thought this was going to go down. Oh, it goes even higher. Oh, Yagi's up here. Oh, here you go, Oregon. Is this your tool bag, Mr. Badger? That's it. Don't know how your kids did it. My stomach turned to jello just watching you run up around there. Can you repair the elevator now? You bet your tail I can. Just wait a minute. Check the counterweight. Give that a titan. Huh? Where's that bolt go? Hmm. Oh, never mind. And done. Uh, all good now, kids. Should take you right up to the top now. No problem. Ah, here's the thing. I got us my Joni bones. Boss gave it to me to help get to work on time, but God, I don't need it now. I'm successfully blocking just before an attack gained one WP. Oh my God. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Before we go, I have to ask. Why do you keep saying <gasps> Lint, watch your mouth. Ha. Well, Mama says I got a potty mouth. Or Oregon, she says your language is so foul I could strap my strip my stripes off. You have to censor yourself, you hear? So that's what I do. Don't argue with Mama. All good now, kids. She take you right up to the top now. No problem. Where is the elevator? Where's the elevator? <laughs> Ooh, there's stuff down there. Oh, I see. Okay. How do I get down? Oh, maybe that's the sewers. Okay, well, I don't think I have any more active quests. The long tail of a family. Southern forest. It's a humble hike. We didn't find this yet. I'll probably need to check it next episode. And this one, I'm assuming this won't happen until another chapter later. And the way the goat. Oh, that's right, Gray Fox. Um, I guess we can go talk to her. Oh, please find my giant stolen ring. Oh, where where to go then? I don't know where it'd be. I don't think Gladwin's gonna give me any more hints. Because I think it went back to sleep. Maybe I missed... Or how did I do the voice? Maybe I missed a clue at the shop, but... Ugh. I'll stay here in the intro. Um, clue at the shop, huh? Um... Don't know what clue that would be. Oh. Huh. I 
wonder where I can use that. I don't know of any place with a key. Maybe back here? <gasps> Aha! Let me have a lint out. <gasps> oh, maybe that was gonna go in there. Hmm, I wonder if we get that as a reward, because I might have remembered a... Uh... Oh, this connects to somewhere else. I wonder if this is the kitchen. To the right. Oh well. But, um, I think that might have been in the demo. Like, like a giant ring, I think it was the item. We'll see. There's also a pickaxe too, but I don't know if that's gonna be an item. That we can use later on too. We found your ring, madam. What? You did? Oh, wonderful news, incredible. I'm overwhelmed with, simple, with gratitude. I cannot thank you enough. I am simply... Look, no problem. Turns out the thief known as Grey Fox is the one who stole it. This time they were sloppy. Did, did, did you just say Grey Fox? Uh, yeah. The ring is yours. It's it, a reward. Yes, take it. I guess he's gonna find us and fight us for it. But you were desperate to get it? We never talked, okay? Thank you so much. Goodbye. Oh, that was rude. Well, bye then, I guess. Yeah, it's like a weird melee thing. It is called Giant Ring, okay. Yeah, it's just a single target, though. It's a lot of normal damage, though. Okay, I think that's everything. So, probably gonna call here, just save first. This is pretty fun. <laughs> a lot of stuff done. Alright, next episode we'll, uh... Oh, she's got stuff! Real quick, just wanna check. Cool, cool. Alright, for real. Uh, that's it, guys. This is a fun, uh... <laughs> playing... Play session. Well, see you guys next time.